What's going on everybody, it's G-Spot here, bringing you a free-for-all match on Nuketown. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm sniping. I think it's my first sniping free-for-all match that I'm doing for you guys. The, uh, the last sniping match that I did I think was a uh, Demolitions on Summit. And uh, I think it was my first time sniping, and even though I did pretty good on that map, on that match, uh, I didn't really find it a challenge. And it's not to sound cocky or anything, it's just that because the spawns are uh, predictable, obviously because it's a demolition match, they spawn in the same place. Uh, I just didn't find it challenging in that aspect, so I figured, you know what, what better way to showcase my improvements with my sniping, my improvements with my quick scoping, than, uh, than doing it on a free-for-all match. Because there's people all over the fucking place, so it just made sense to me. And uh, as well, Nuketown. Such a small map, close quarters, people all over the fucking place all the time. I figured, you know what, what better way to showcase my improvements than on a free for all nuketown match. So if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, obviously give it a thumbs down. And, uh, you know, if possible, leave a comment in the comment box below. I would be greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah, so back to sniping. As you guys can see, I'm still sticking with the L9. I like the L9. I think it's better than the Dragonoff piece of shit gun. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten so many hit markers in my entire life with the Dragonoff. Maybe I'm using the, the wrong attachment with it, I don't know, but uh, it just seems that every time I use that gun, I'm always fucking getting hit markers, so. No more with that gun, sticking with the L9, I'm liking it. Now, sniping is fucking fun. When it's going well, it sucks, when it doesn't, of course. And when it doesn't, I switch to my, to my Try Hard class and just rip faces, so. Just gotta remind people who's boss in the party, you know. You know how it is. Alright, so, uh, yeah, L9, my attachments, as you guys can see, I'm using the ACOG scope. I've used the uh, the variable zoom, and I mean, they're, they're both pretty good. The reason why I like the ACOG is because it doesn't jumble around for a split second when you zoom in. So, uh, and because I'm usually pretty accurate with my gun, I figured, you know what, I don't need that little variable zoom to, to jumble all the place. I figured ACOG. Even though it does jumble slightly, it's not as much, and that allows me to uh, to uh, you know get my snipes, my quick scopes in there. And, and again, because I am pretty accurate with it, it's, uh, it's not a big deal for me. I just kind of point and click, so it's pretty it's pretty sick. I like I like the ACOG scope. I think I'll be sticking with it. Um, my uh, the perks that I'm using, surprisingly, I'm using lightweight. I usually use Ghost Pro when uh, when I'm sniping, but I think because I was overly confident in this match. That uh, if anyone had a spy plane, I would just either blow their faces off, no big deal, or I would uh, have a counter ready in my back pocket. So I figured I'd, I'd be able to get uh, four kill streaks, no problem. And uh, you know, it's just uh, just a testament of my improvements with this gun. I feel more confident with it, just running around and just doing my thing. And yeah, just come out and challenge that guy. I was definitely going to tomahawk him, but uh, didn't work out. This guy got two hit markers. I don't even know if I killed him or if he went the last time. Fucking last time. It pissed me off so much. So, uh, so yeah, anyways. Uh, um, my first perk, like I said, is Lightweight Pro. Second perk, I'm using a uh, it's Steady Aim. Yep, I'm using Steady Aim. In cases like that, perfect example. Uh, I was able to just shoot a guy coming to the door. I didn't want to have to scope him. Same with thing right there. Uh, I think Steady Aim Pro is awesome. Close quarter combat. For, uh, for sniping, it just seems to hit more often than uh, than not. I think I've tried the same thing with Slide of Hand Pro, and it just misses all the fucking times. Pretty annoying. Um, you know my settings, controller settings again. I play uh, default, not tactical, and my sensitivity is um, it's on four. It's pretty low, even though it says it's high on COD, but uh, it does not allow me to do the uh, the 360 jumping off the fucking roofs, no scope, and kill some roofs. I just can't do shit like that. I'm not a flashy player. Uh, even when I played Halo, I didn't do anything flashy. I just kind of got shit done, I guess is the best way to put it. And uh, look at this. Not only do I miss, but I get a hit mark on that guy, which is pretty pressure. I think I, I paused for a second in disbelief. I think that's exactly what I did. And uh, yeah, shit like that should just should not happen. And uh, so yeah, so as you guys can see, I'm using the sniper. Uh, I mentioned all my perks, all my attachments, but again, 
I'm so new to sniping that uh, if you guys have any suggestions, comments, tips to help me improve, by all means, like I said, leave a comment in the comment box below. Anything is appreciated. And this is the final kill cam. Kind of sucks. I apologize for not getting a sniper kill. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is G-Spot, out.